One of the strongest memories of my mother, Josephine, um, was when I was seven, eight. My mother, me, my two aunts went to Macy's in Herald Square. There was a very large main escalator that came down that was wooden. And my mother observed a shoplifter attempting to take a knife and cut one of my aunt's pocketbooks. I remember her looking at the shoplifter and looking at me and said, I got to go. She was going to run and tackle the guy. And indeed, she let go of my hand and ran down the wooden escalator. She then assisted the Macy security guy who did tackle the guy, but she was right behind, ready to pounce. That's how I think of my mom, is like strong and always able to spring into action at a moment's notice. I'm Angela Macropolis. I'm a journalist, I'm an attorney, and I'm a caregiver. Not necessarily in that order in any given day. In 2004, my mother was diagnosed with chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy. And my life dramatically changed when I moved back in with her when she could no longer live alone with this disease. It's called neuropathy. But what it is, is it hits the nerves. It may hit them in the legs, it may hit them in the arms, it may hit them in your face. It can hit anywhere. Well, and it hit me in my legs more so than any place else. Now if you look at her feet, look at this. Lift your leg up. Yeah. This is all the edema. Show, you can't, now if I do this, you feel anything? Do you feel that? Yeah, 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 you do. You feel yeah. that? Yeah. But you don't feel much in here? No. Right. Okay, and how'd you get these, Mom? Look up. How'd you get this? That's always been there, long, long. Yeah, well, a couple of years, but why did you get it, Mom? When it got bumped into. Correct, because you have peripheral arterial disease. Okay. I feel that I can overcome it, but the only thing I can overcome is the walking. That bugs me. And yet I do walk, not with a, yeah, with the walker. Mm -hmm. I walk. Mm -hmm. But I don't like the walker. Mm -hmm. But you have to use it. We're going to do a couple more steps and then you're going to walk on the walker. Ah, uh, come on, Angel. Ah, uh, come on yourself. All right. Body forward. Come on. Forward. Mommy, Mommy you can't walk unless I put, can get you up. Yeah. Forward, Mom. Forward on your hips. Put your other hand up. Okay. Walk. Okay, just wait a moment. You okay? No. What, right foot. Good girl. Left foot. Right foot. Right foot. Left foot. Right foot. Left foot. Left foot. Yeah. Left foot. Left foot. Why do I don't want them to see me? Ah, because it's hard. It's hard p people watching you. And they do, it, it's not done purposely. It's done without, I think, I don't even think they know it. One of the things that really brings the disease home to me is the amount that of materials and devices that are in my house or in my mother's house that have never been there before. Um, there is the walker, which is obvious. There is the pole for the IVIG that she receives every three weeks. And most importantly, the most important piece of furniture in the house, which is the a mechanical lazy boy without which she could not easily remove herself from a couch, a chair. That's her chair. I never use it. She has to use it. We also have uh, foot catchers and grab bars all over the place. The whole house has different rooms that represent all the effects of the disease. I've had this so long. I'm going to go to sleep with it. I do go to sleep with it. But I, what I mean is that'll be my whole life. What am I supposed to do? How do I do it? I just let it go. My mother, Josephine, would be the first to tell you that neuropathy won't be cured during her lifetime. But for the 20 million Americans suffering pain, weakness, loss of sensation, imbalance, and ultimately disability, this video is for them. For people like Carolyn Burgess, who at 61 was told by her neurologist to just go home and pray. And for 38-year-old Michelle Monroe, who can't put the bed sheets on because the searing pain is just too much. Neuropathy research has come out of the shadows in the last few years, but further attention must be paid. Let's put our brains together to support brain research.